I'm live again, guys. I'm live again. This is the way forward. This is the way to do it. Record live. Interactive. Futuristic. Versatile. Exciting. It's got it all. It's live. Um, so thanks, firstly, to everyone who tuned into the stream last night. Um, we had planned, or I had planned, or together we had planned to play Modern Warfare 2, but couldn't find a game. It just couldn't match. So we ended up playing Modern Warfare 3. Um, yeah, got my ass kicked a few matches, but I got a couple of kills, some other ones, but it was a lot of fun. But as you can see from the title of this video, what I'm hoping to do in this stream is talk about the Nintendo Switch, because I have finally ordered it. Finally. Um, I'll just turn this down. Don't want the phone coming off. Um, yeah, I have finally ordered it. Um, I probably could have got it about a week or so ago. Um, is that showing? It's weird. I'm just looking. At, I'm just looking at my channel there. Actually, I didn't know how it works on the mobile phone. As far as oh, there it's yes, yeah, weird because it shows you the other video and then it shows you the live video. It's kind of weird the way it does it. Um, yeah, but um, I digress. I digress. Um, so yes, I have ordered the new Nintendo Switch. So the in the USA, I think everyone got it maybe about two weeks ago, a week and a half ago. We got it here in the UK a little bit after that, but um, I could have got it last week, but I, I held back, and the reason I held back was um, I decided to order it from Amazon. And it's not the best deal, not by a long shot. I've probably paid an extra £20 getting it from Amazon because there's some other good deals in the UK. For example, I paid 280 and for 300 I could get it with one game from Game. Um, so I would have got a £40 games for £20. Um, so I was very tempted to do that. I was very tempted to do that. But I opted for Amazon just because, you know, problems with the Joy-Con controllers. If there's any problems in the future, Amazon generally is a, a safer bet for returns and things like that. So um, I've ordered it now. I've ordered it now. Finally. Uh, but now I need to start thinking about other things. Um, it. I mean, this is this is the same thing that I did with the Wii and the, and the Switch. You spend all the money on the console and then you're like, oh, I need to buy controllers, I need to buy, you know, this, this and this. Uh, I think I need a screen protector. I'll probably buy a little case, probably buy an extra controller of some kind. Um, and then I need to start buying games as well. It ends up being quite expensive. It would have been cheaper actually buying uh, an Xbox One X or a, a Sony PS4 Pro. It would have been a lot cheaper to do that, but... Obviously, it's not that. I've already got a PS4, so that was not an issue. But if anyone is watching, please do comment. Um, it's weird. Again, I'm sorry to go off topic again, but the reason I'm doing that is last night during the during the live stream, you know, Evil pointed out and a few others pointed out as well that they weren't getting notifications. So I don't know what's going on with YouTube as far as the notification goes. Um, sometimes it doesn't notify people until you've been online for like 30 minutes other times you know notifies people very quickly um, it's kind of strange the way it works I don't know how the whole YouTube notification thing works it's bizarre um, but I digress so yeah I need to start having a think about the games that I'm going to buy and I need to start having a think about the um, Accessories, accessories, screen protector and all those different things. What I will say though is Amazon are not making it easy. They are not making it easy to actually find it because if I, have I got this ready? There we go, it popped up eventually. If you search for the Switch console, right? So I did this earlier and I found, I found it just because I was looking for it and Amazon are purposely showing the older one. They want to get rid of their old stock. Um, and there's other there's other companies out there selling these packages for like 260 with the 30 pound voucher so they're already 20 pounds more i think they're trying to push their older stock before anyone buys the new stock and i did a video about this before you know how to recognize the new one but essentially you've got the code which is in the title of this video but um you've also got the fact that the new one is like a red box um but you can see here like when you're looking through here it's not easy to find it is not easy to find at all. Look at this. I'm on page three now. 
And it's starting to show games and accessories and different things and it's not actually showing you the console. I don't know how I found it. It just kind of popped up and it is being sold by Amazon. It's not like it's being sold by, um, you know, by a third party company or something. That would make more sense. But for whatever reason, it's not linking directly. Now, I've added the, the correct link to that one in the description if you want to buy it from Amazon.com or .uk. Um, they've got the grey version and they've got the neon red, neon blue. That's what I've opted for. I just opted for the neon red and the neon blue. Down the line, I, could, I guess I could always get another one and change the colour, but um, yeah, I just opted for that. Um, but, I mean, look at that. It's not... It's not showing yet. Even if, you know, maybe I need to put in like improved battery or something like that. Maybe this will help me find it. Look how, look how terrible these results are. Nintendo Switch console, improved battery, and the first result, we've got a battery charger case, then we've got a PlayStation 4 Gold wireless headset, then an Xbox One. How bad is their search engine? That's bizarre. That is bizarre. Switch. Switch. Improved battery, right? Let's see if this... It's kind of mad the way they're doing this. They're clearly not wanting to show you the new console, even though it was there. Um, you'd have to actually go through and... I don't know. I mean, I don't know how I found it. It kind of showed up. It showed up earlier on today. And I was like, wow, they've got it now. And it said um, Sunday for delivery, so it's like two days. But then it's now saying Tuesday. So they must have a limited amount of stock uh, originally. But it's getting to the point where Amazon looks really bad now for not selling it. And it's kind of silly. I realise they've probably got a lot of stock of the old one. But I suspect they would make a ton of money by just discounting the old console and selling the new one. Because a lot of people like myself that have looked at the game collection, game shop to all these different stores to buy the Switch, probably wanted to buy from Amazon because the returns are better. Um, but we've went elsewhere. Well, I've not went elsewhere. I've went with Amazon. But you know what I mean? It's uh, kind of strange. It's kind of strange that they're, they're hiding it that way. But I, I suspect this is a common tactic. Amazon is quite funny sometimes, the way they, they handle things. Um, what is this? CPU, I'm just checking the CPU there so I'm not spiking. Don't want any slowdown. Don't want any slowdown. Um, so yes, I have ordered it. Um, as I was saying, I don't have... Um, I don't have any games or accessories of that yet. Um, I'm going to have to just have a think about what to buy. The games, though, I mean, the games are the games are so expensive. It's insane. It's really surprising how expensive the games are on the Nintendo Switch. I think um, you know when I was looking at it, Mario Kart, which is you know was out in the Wii U like four or five years ago, essentially the same game on the Switch, and it's still forty pounds. Breath of the Wild still over forty pounds. It's very expensive. Um, it's it's not the fact that these games are being released at forty pounds. It's the fact that they're not coming down in price. None of the first party games are coming down in price. It's crazy, absolutely crazy how expensive it is. It's it's bizarre. Um, but it is. It's Nintendo. It's Nintendo. But my friend Mark, I'm not sure if he's watching just now. I was speaking to him on the phone just uh, a couple of hours ago, and he was he was telling me about setting up the profiles in your Nintendo Switch to download games from different areas. It's not something not something I've explored yet, but he said he's got a... Like, when you go into the e-store, you've got, like... Uh, he's got a profile for the UK, for Japan, for, like, new exclusives, and for um, South Africa. He said that sometimes it's, you know, maybe 25 30% cheaper by going to the South African store. So, I don't know how that works yet. I'll need to dive into that. When I had the, the other Switch, my friend's Switch, you know, I wasn't playing around with the store or anything like that kind of wasn't like checking things out like that because obviously it's his account but I'll delve deeper into that you know despite the fact that some of these games are expensive you know I know that the you know the the first part of games are going to be expensive I'm still going to buy them at one point but I am keen to look into the kind of indie games and the retro games and all that as well um you know, buy some of these kind of fun games for the switch as well so it's good. It's good exploring these because I know I've been playing a lot of older games recently on my on my uh, channel, but I'm keen to you know experiment and, and play with some indie games as well. 
But if anyone, if anyone's watching, if you have a switch, if you have a switch, what accessories do you think I should buy? What accessories do you think I should buy? I think right off the bat, I think the screen protector because it gets scraped on the dock. Um, I think a second controller of some kind will be useful. Um, there's actually some really good wired controllers, but you know I'd obviously rather go wireless. Um, any particular games you think I should buy? Any bargains out there? Let me know what you think. Um, as far as accessories go though, I have a look here. Switch. See there's a lot, there's a couple of controllers coming out that I've, I've kind of got my eyes on. Um, so if you type Switch controller on Amazon, maybe not the best place to kind of search for it. You see some of these kind of third party ones as well. Look at these Joy-Cons. Now, I mean, this is the thing, like I've got the Switch, con uh, the Wii U Pro Controller. The Switch Pro Controller, most people say it's a little bit better. Battery life's not as good, obviously, because it's got rumble and things like that. You can get this sometimes at 50 pounds, right? 50 pounds, but 55 pounds, okay. It's a good controller, it will last you a long time, but 65 pounds for Joy-Cons, that's insane. Like, I do like I do like the Joy-Con system as far as hey Paul, good to see you again. Um I do like the Joy-Con system as far as it, you know, it goes on to the switch and then you can take it off and build a controller and all that. That's fine, but it doesn't change the fact that these things are very cheaply made and they're not the best controllers out there either. You know, they're not the best controllers, there's no way around it. They're they're okay, but they're not the best. Um for £65, it's insane. That's an insane amount of money for a controller like that. I probably will end up buying one at one point just so that I've got a second tro uh, second controller. But the argument is, do I, do I buy a second Joy-Con or do I buy a Switch Pro? You know, if I've got friends, do I buy a wired controller? This is another thing here. This is one, I, I showed this to my friend Joe because I was very keen on this as well. This looks like quite an interesting controller as well. There's a couple of reviews out there, not many. Uh, because it has been released in the USA, but I think this looks like an interesting thing as well. Um, certainly if you're playing action games or first person shooters and things like that, I think this would be a very interesting uh, controller to have. What do you think about that? If you look at it there, it really does make the Switch look very different, doesn't it? Now I don't think the controller is actually charged when you're in, and it's not like the Joy-Cons, but I think that looks really, really nice. I think it does, I think that looks really, really good. And it looks like, for example, if you were playing what a Call of Duty game or something like that, I suspect it would be a lot easier to play the game on that. Plus you've got a proper D-pad. I mean, the D-pad is something that I think a lot of people forget about. But, yeah, it's obviously very important. So I think that looks like a good controller. £45, well, I mean, again, it comes down to price here, but £45 for that, you go, oh, that's expensive, but then... If you're £65 for the Joy-Con, you don't even get a proper D-pad, then why not buy that? You know, why not buy that one? So I'm tempted to get that. You, you also got the 8-bit do ones or 8-bit do, however you pronounce it. Um, the kind of SN, the SNES ones, the ones that imitate the SNES and things like that. You get ones like this as well. I mean, some of these third-party ones might be okay. Um, yeah, so there's, there's controllers like this I'll need to check out um, to see what to buy. I'm not, I, I mean, I don't need to rush out and buy these things. I can buy these things over time. There's a lot of these wired controllers that look quite good as well. You can sometimes pick them up for £15. There are a lot of third-party controllers out there. It's just with a, you know, you you buy cheap, you buy twice sometimes with these kind of things. But, um, yeah, so, some of them like like that, that looks garbage. That look, That looks, that's cheap, but it also looks cheap. Something that doesn't look cheap. Uh, you've obviously got the GameCube controller uh, out there for the Smash Brother games and all that. That's an imitation of the the Wii U Pro, the Wii U Pro, the, the Switch Pro controller. Some of these ones don't look too bad actually. These ones, but um, yeah, I think you're, normally I think you're better starting official and then kind of working backwards as to you know whether it's good or not. Or not. Um, I pega nine zero eight three. Is that the one I had, Paul? I don't know if you remember. I, I reviewed one of those controllers a few years ago. I ended up selling it because it basically sat for a year gathering dust. Um, is that the one I had? It was like it, it flipped up to hold your mobile phone. 
I think I think that's the one that I had. Um, if I'm th if I'm thinking right, that's the that's the one I had. I could always go down the the cheap ass route as well and just email companies and say, hey, I'd like to do a review on my channel. I probably need to do that more often. I need to do that more often. Telescopic. Right. I'll, I'll Google that. I'll Google that, Paul, because I, I I don't think I know what control you're talking about. I'll Google that. Google. Yeah. Google. Google that. Um, right. Okay. So this looks like a, a gear best one. So you, obviously I can buy it locally as well, but this is the one you're talking about. Ah, right, okay. So this works with uh, it works with tablets. What's it like to play with, Paul? I know it's not officially or like designed for the Switch. Does it fit okay with the Switch? I mean, that's a mobile phone now. Easy winner, chicken dinner. It shows you they with tablets. It does actually look quite good for tablets. Oh, there's a switch there. Yeah, it seems to be a little bit... What's it like? It shows you there's a little bit of space down the bottom there. Um, very good. It does actually... I mean, it's kind of in the, the similar kind of vein as the one I was looking at there, the Hori one. But this obviously can be used with, you know, tablets and phones and all that as well. Quite a good idea. So does, does it work natively or did you have to like download any kind of software or I know that some people are buying adapters for these you know for these controls for third party controls. Hi Ben. Um well Ben just to correct you there, the battery capacity is exactly the same. In fact, the battery is exactly the same. It's one hundred percent the exact same battery that is in the old switch and the new switch. The difference is the CPU I think the GPU as well are more efficient. So essentially they've improved the CPU and the GPU so that they can get the same performance but it doesn't drain as much battery. So they've got the exact same battery. If, for example, you wanted to replace the battery in your switch, if you are replacing a, a battery in the old switch or the new switch, you would order the exact same battery. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not nitpicking there, just to kind of uh, clarify that because... Um, the actual, you know, most of the switch is exactly the same. They're just kind of tweaked the CPU and the GPU. Oh, that's good, Paul. I actually sold, I sold my tablet the other day. Um, I sold my dad's tablet and then I've got the same one. And basically I had an auction selling my dad's. My dad's, you know, it's getting busy. He's got a lot of watchers. And someone messaged me and says, oh, have you got to buy it now? And I said, yes. And I was like, oh, I didn't realize that on eBay, when I uh, buy it now goes over, I think it's 40, 50% of the the auction price to the buy it now price, the buy it now gets removed from eBay. So he said, oh, I would have bought it now and then. And I said, well, I've got one. Um, so I just used the same as he's created another listing and he just bought it right away. So I actually use that tablet every single day of the week, but I was like, this guy paid the same as what it sells for now. <laughs> well, take it then, take it. There's a sliding switch on the left-hand side to change from X input to switch and another one that I forget. Um, um, so there's the there's the actual design at the there. D pad, L D L three down press mode. Is that what you're talking about mode switch? Is that what you're talking about? It looks like it looks like quite a nice little controller though. I must say, I I had an iPega controller in the past. It was a little bit different. Um, yeah, the one I had was a little bit different. It was the, the one that kind of switched up the way. So it switched up and you put your mobile phone on the top. But it was very well made. It was a very good controller. Um, I eventually sold it because, it, you know, as I said, I wasn't using it. I'm trying to be a little bit tougher with that kind of thing. I need to organise my room. I've got a lot of boxes for equipment. I need to put them up in the loft. I'll maybe try and do that. I was going to say this weekend, realistically next week, clear everything out and then have like a list of boxes of, okay, I'll keep these ones here because I might need them. And then a list of boxes of things that like, right, I have not used these things for six months to a year. Sell them, get them out of there. Just sell them because you're not using them. I've got a bad habit of keeping tech. Certainly over the years, I've kept tech 
a lot longer than I needed to, whether it be, you know, mice or keyboards and different things. And they just sit there gathering dust when you're as well just selling it and moving on. And then if you do need it, just buy again. Um, but that's why I sold that controller. Um, th there's probably a lot of other controllers out there that I need to look at, but initially, anyway, I only need one controller, but I can maybe pick up a little cheap one so that I've got two, a little cheap wireless one. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll cover different things. Um, I'll cover different things when it comes. Hi, Runny G. Yeah, the new well, I've, I only ordered it today. I only ordered it today, so it will it come Sunday. But to be honest, I'll you know I probably won't even get a chance to play it for another week if I'm honest. But um, like my friend was saying that as well. Amazon's good with returns. So I've effectively paid twenty pounds more to get it from Amazon. But the way that I'm looking at it is, you know, if I need to, if there's any problems with the Joy-Con control or anything down the line, and I know Nintendo are good for support, but it's just easier to return it to Amazon. Um, but if there's any problems, or if there's another deal, like my friend was saying that as well, he said that if, for example, there's another bundle deal that comes out that's amazing, I can just send my Switch back to Amazon and, you know, keep the other deal. If, if, that's, um, if that's the case, you know, if something else comes out, but... It's a hassle, but yeah, well, I'm, I will be doing streaming. I will be doing streaming. And that's, you know, that's what everything I've been doing over the last few weeks has been about as far as uh, my setup. You know, I've probably spent about 500, 600 pounds the last few weeks. I've got a Thunderbolt hub. I've got a Thunderbolt interface, like a PCI Express card for my PC. So that's what I've been needing in order to, to change some things. Um, but it's not, it's actually going to arrive on a day I'm out all day. Um, so I'll need to change the delivery, but that will be coming here next week. I can then attach the hub. I can then put everything through the hub, um, which means that I can attach another two cameras, which just kind of means that I can, you know, do different angles and, and, and set up another camera for streaming and try and get it set up a little bit better. Um, no, feel free to change the subject, Paul. A new WW2 FPS game called Heroes and Generals on Steam, which was free to play. What's it like? That's the thing. I, I forget. I forget. There's so many good. Um, I forget. There's so many great free games out there. You know, it's, it's easy to forget that. Yeah, me too, Ben. Me too. I actually, I played. Um, what was I? I'm. It's probably sixty percent of it through. I played it on uh, the micro Link's Awakening because I, I completed Legend of Zelda: uh, Link to the Past on on my Game Boy Micro. I was playing it in bed which is dangerous because you, you go, all right, I'll just play 20 minutes before bed and then it's like four hours later. Um, but I completed that, or I think I completed it. Yeah, I, got, I completed that. And then I, th I said, oh, okay, I'll play Link's Awakening. Um, and I kind of get through that as well. Just the old Game Boy, it was a Game Boy Color version I had. I think what they call that was it Link's Awakening DX or something like that they called that, wasn't it? Um, but this new version looks awesome. I'm tempted, once if I, if I complete through the, those games... It's all dependent on time though, you know, obviously I'm, I'd like to complete Breath of the Wild, I'd like to complete Link's Awakening on the, the, the on the Switch, but I'd also like to get Wind Talker, is it Wind Talker or Wind Waker? I'm getting mixed up now, the one that was GameCube but came out on the Wii U, um, I'd like to play that as well. Ah, right, okay, you've not, you've not played it yet. It's, it's amazing that some of these games are, are, um, are free to play. Oh, okay. See, so, yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to do the same. I I, I played Breath of the Wild. I, I streamed it a couple of years ago, I think. Wind Waker, that's it. Yeah, thanks, Will. Um, I streamed uh, Breath of the Wild a few years ago on Wii U, but I really should have just played that every day on my channel just so that I had an excuse to play it. It's a great game. I think with all Zelda games and all RPGs, there's always that element of doing a lot of menial tasks. Go there and then go there and all that, but... Zelda normally has that balance, right? You know, I think a, a lot of RPGs I've played in the past. Um, like, I remember, see, back in the day, I remember I had the American version of Final Fantasy. Well, they called it Final Fantasy 3, but it was actually 6. And I played it on the SNES. And at a certain point, you're just building up your points, building up your points, and you're just killing pointless animals that are walking around. Um, and it just it becomes very repetitive. And there's, there's been a couple of RPGs and a couple of games like that where... I wanted to complete them. You know, I wanted to actually complete the game, but it gets to the point where it's just not fun. It actually feels like work. It feels like work. 
Um, so there was a few games like that, but I think that Zelda's always had that balance, right? Where that you know makes say you have to go and get a hundred rupees, you go away and kill some people, but you come back. It's not too boring. SNES games coming to Switch. Oh, that'll be awesome. That'll be awesome. What's your channel, Ronnie? Feel free to share it. I, if the, if if it comes up, I'll I'll unblock it. If you want to share your channel name, I think can I go to channel? All right, hold on, hold on. I can do it myself by the looks of it. Um, that's your channel there. Might as well have a look at it when you're here. Might as well. Runny Egg Eye. All right, okay, so you're you're doing Nintendo Classics. Breath of the Wild, part two, part three. So you're doing about an hour or two each stream. I like your banner at the top, that's quite cool. I like that. Monopoly Monopoly Plus. Ah, you're streaming a lot of Switch games as well. Rocket League and all that. Need for Speed pay, uh, Payback. I need to play that as well. How are you, how are you finding it as far as the um, as far as game streaming goes? Because obviously my channel, yes, I've streamed games, but I've kind of. Um, oh, it's playing music here. What's it playing? Oh, it's playing there. Um, I've you know most of my channel has been reviews up until now and. I know that some people probably don't want me to do game streaming. Come on up, Pinter. Come on up here. Come on up here. Come on up. Whoa, come on. Yeah, that's a girl. See my, this is Isa. See hello to the nice people. Come on. <laughs> come on. No, oh, she's wanting attention. So this is my mum's dog, Isa. So mum's away for the weekend, so see my pal for the next few days. Um Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get some SNES games. The DLC. I've not played the DLC, Runny. Um, Ben, I think I completed about ninety percent Breath of the Wild. I think I'm maybe about forty percent or thirty percent through. You know, I've I've played it through the Wii U, but I got to the point where I, you know, things came up. I stopped playing it, um, and um, I just didn't get back into it. But I'd like to. I'm actually. I'm tempted to actually go right back to the start to play it rather than. Um, rather than kind of jump halfway in, I'd rather just go f to the start again. Five minutes of <laughs> PS4 too. Well, you'll you'll be the same as me. Then I've got the PS4 and I've got uh, the Switch as well. Oh, hi, sad boy. Welcome to the stream. Best of luck with your channel, Runny. Um, you know, obviously, I, I I know firsthand. I know, <laughs> I know firsthand how hard it can be. Um, I know how firsthand how hard it, be, it can be to get subscribers and stuff. So. Best of luck with it. If, if and and you know, I've said this before in other videos. But if you ever see me doing something in one of my you know videos, yeah, we, what are you doing? You don't know what you're doing, do you? If you if you see me doing something in one of my channels, um, and you see me doing something, or you say, oh, how is he recording that? Just send me an email or a, or a, or love a comment. Uh, love a comment. Leave a comment. Oh, she's away to her bed. Uh, leave a comment or something, um, and I, I, I should be able to do a video or just explain it. You've got one subscriber and 177 likes. Um, well, it's easy to do that. You can, like, even if you've got, like, I could create a new channel today, upload a video, and if that video gets a lot of views, you know, could get a lot of views, then um, technically you could get a lot of views and likes, but no one subscribes. But... If I see, well, the views, I think out of 177 likes, I would think that most, you would think that, I mean, there is a spam element on YouTube. My guess is that you don't have other videos. If you don't have other videos, there's no reason for other people to subscribe. You know, you, you should really have like, it's kind of catch 22, but you need a lot of videos to give people a reason to subscribe. Um... Well, I can watch. I can't watch the video here just now because obviously I'm streaming. But I can check it out later. Um. A uh, runny. A uh, what I would do is basically don't use a USB headset. Um. Don't use a USB headset for that if you can. Um. I would. I would if you can buy an XLR mic. 
an XLR power mic, run it through a, a little audio interface. It doesn't have to be expensive. The Zoom U24 that I've got, I bought it for like £40. Um, and yeah, that, and I mean, it's obviously money and all that, but um, it sounds like you've got a little bit of latency. So you're hearing the commentary coming back to you, so that's maybe a little bit annoying. I just actually got an email there, it popped up that, um, I'll see. You're, right, so, see if I can do this, hide my address. How can I, how can I successfully hide my address here? But basically, yes, it, it's ordered. Where's, where's the camera? It's not even going to be showing that, but it's, it's ordered. It's ordered, it's, it's, it's dispatched, it's coming. It's coming in a few days. Ah, from Romania. Okay, I've never been to Romania, actually. Bucharest. Was it Bucharest? Was that? Yeah, Bucharest. It's Hungary I've been to with Budapest. I always get those mixed up. Um, so, yeah, I've got I've got the Switch ordered. It has now been dispatched, so I'm going to jump into the world of Switch. And I'll, I'll, I'll be doing the same as Ronnie, and I'll, I'll be, be able to stream some interesting games and all that. Um could I use a jack splitter on my 3.5 millimeter jack Turtle Beach headset? I don't. If I'm if I'm truly honest, I don't know. There the probably is some kind of workaround um, to do that. But to be honest, from my experience, from experimenting with a lot of different microphones and a lot of different things, my God, guys, the amount of hairs you've got on me. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't look at me like that. Um, the the amount of things I've you know I've tried a lot of different setups. I've tested lots of things for product reviews. Um, if you're doing a headset for your gaming, I mean, pers personally, personally, I would just avoid USB. I would make sure that you, all the audio goes through a, a, either a mixer or an audio interface. I think I think it's a safer bet, mate. I really do. And it's the sort of thing it's annoying to have to spend money on it initially, but it, it's it works better in, in the long run. The pro the problem with you know something like Turtle Beach is. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think why you'd run into this problem. Any, what is it that's feeding back into you? What would be feeding back into you? I'll see your original comment. Use my guard when my commentary comes back into my USB headset. Are you talking about commentary from, like yourself talking? It sounds like there's lag, there's latency with the microphone. Hey Gary, good to see you, mate. Dubstep Gutter is your name, or is your name? What you been up to, Gary? I'm just sitting chilling. Ah, I've ordered a new games console like a big kid. Well, you 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 should want to hear your audio, Ronnie. You should want to hear the audio, your own audio, um, so that you can hear how loud you're talking, and you know you can hear it through. The problem is, if there's a lag, if there's a latency, then you'll hear yourself kind of like an echo. And I've had it before with microphones where if the latency and the lag is that bad, if it's, you know, if you're hearing your voice being repeated to you like a half second later, it's, you know, I'm sure other people have had the same thing with a, with a telephone call. If that happens, sad boy, right, we get it. You know, I'm, I'm all happy for, um, I'm all happy for shout outs, but you've said that about four or five times. Um, yeah, if, if you're if you're hearing if you're hearing uh, that come back, you can't talk because you're you're trying to talk and then you're hearing it coming back to you. So um, I can search it later, sad boy. I'll check it out. Um, I would say, Ronnie, if you can get a get a get a, an audio interface to run uh, and and not don't use the mic on your headset. I would use something else personally, but I don't know. I don't have as much experience with streaming with headsets other than to to test them out. I would say, I would, I would say that's a better bet, personally. But it's up to you. I don't, I don't know your setup. This is the thing. Every setup's different. Everyone's got a different setup. And I, I would use a headset sometimes. You know, if I'm down here and I, I did a stream with the PlayStation Four, I would just put a headset on. Oh, I've not seen the Euro, Europa League draw yet. I'll need to check that out. I saw. What did you think of Cantona's? What did you think of Cantona's speech last night, Gary? <laughs> He's brilliant, isn't he? Cantona is a legend. 
I had no idea what he was talking about, but it was funny to see him do that and everyone just sitting in the crowd squirming. Um, group A, Sevilla. Apple Nicosia, Group B. So, Lazio, Celtic, Rez, Cluj, Arsenal, Eintracht, Frankfurt, Standalese, Victoria, Porto, Young Boys, Feyenoord, Rangers, Who's other English teams? Man United, FC, Est oh, forgetting Man Manchester United, didn't it? Yeah, I quoted Shakespeare at the start and then uh, and then uh, he went off on a tangent. Yeah, I saw that Cluj, or was Cluj, or how do you pronounce that? Is it Cluj? <laughs> Cluj. Um, Man United, I've got FC Astana, so I've got a long trip. Arsenal, Frankfurt, Leeds, Victoria, yep. There's a lot of big teams in there. Roma are in there as well. Borussia Munchen Gladbach, they're a good team. Porto as well. There's a couple of big teams in there anyway. No problem, Ronnie. Again, uh, if, if you want advice or just, you know, you want to know how I'm doing it upstairs or anything like that, just let me know um, and I can show you how I've got it set up. I like, I like to... Uh, USB, I think, when it comes to audio and stuff like that, USB is okay in a simple setup. I've actually got, I've, I've attached my Blue Yeti just now, just because it's, you know, very simple. But generally speaking, I wouldn't use that. I just use it if I've got a very simple, like this is a simple stream. I'm not doing anything. I'm not gaming. I think when you've got multiple audio sources and all that, you really want to avoid USB. You want to run everything through an audio interface. Dropkick anyone in the audience? <laughs> right, let me see. All right, so... So for the benefit of Sad Boy, this is uh, Sad Boy's channel. Sad Boy's channel is there, um, and that's what he's got. So he's only got one video, and he said he's got one subscriber. I think that's why you've only got one subscriber then, because you might be able to get a lot of different views, but if you only have one video, if you only have one video, there really isn't any reason for anyone to subscribe. You know, why would anyone subscribe if you uploaded one video and the one video was two months ago? I think... You know, it's kind of common sense. If you if you want anyone to subscribe to a blog or social media, you know, Twitter, Facebook, or anything, you need to produce content a lot. You can't just do one video and go, well, I'm going to get lots of subscribers. You have to continually do videos, which is what Ronnie's doing. He's streaming a lot and trying to build up an audience. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to, I'm going to have to look at more of these no, I'll do it. actually. This is a very crude way of doing it. This is a very crude way of looking at accessories. Um, let's find one of those generic, um, the best Nintendo Switch accessories. Let's see what comes up here. Don't get me wrong, the, the first results will probably be sucky. Right, I'll try the wire cutter. Let's see what they suggest here. Let's see what they suggest. Let's see what they suggest. Right away at the top, they've got a, what do you call that again, a gooseneck. They've got a gooseneck there. Is that, like, see, in that situation, why wouldn't you just plug that into a TV? You know, if you're going to invest in something like that, which is probably like 20, 30 pounds, just buy a little mini HDMI monitor. I don't know. Call me stupid. Right, so they've got a screen protector, micro SD card, right. Screen protector, yes, I'm going to buy one of those. I think I do need a screen protector. Micro SD cards, I've got a lot of those. I've got spare ones. Right, controllers, Switch Pro. Yeah, I think everyone does say the Switch Pro is the best controller. GameCube style wireless controller. Um, it's quite interesting that a lot of games still work very well with the GameCube controller. Um... Joy-Con comfort grip. So the, there's that, and then there's the, the charging grip as well. Steering wheel. No classic. I've still got those for the Wii as well. Joy-Con grips. A charger. Joy-Con charging dock. 
Um, charging, so this is power delivery. I've already got one of those for my laptop. So I don't need that. Power bank, I don't, so this, this is something I might get down the line as well, is that a power bank that has power delivery. One that can charge my laptop and charge my switch. Um, stands, mm, I don't think I need that, if I'm honest. Cases, right, so I need a case. Go to look at different cases. That was the one I bought my friend Joe. He's got that one. He's got this one here that's very common. Um, some of these are quite a good, you know, these larger ones are quite good if you're taking it anywhere. As far as, you know, you can put in the dock and all that. A cheap stylus. Still don't understand why they had the stylus in the Wii U and then they took, they took it away for the Switch. I think it would have been nice. Because they had it in the 3DS as well, didn't they? Ethernet adapter. Um, that could actually be... Is there no Ethernet on... There's no Ethernet on the Switch, is there? I'm trying to think of the ports at the back. There's HDMI, there's what, 3 USB? 3 USB or something. It's annoying you need to buy a dongle for that. But something I might have to do. Bluetooth audio adapter. Yeah, see, see like that? £300 for, a, for a, a modern game console and it doesn't have Bluetooth. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. That's something I might have to buy at one point, a Bluetooth audio adapter. It's ridiculous. You don't need it though. And then there's other things here. So yeah, I've learned absolutely nothing from that, from that article. Nothing that I already knew anyway. So, oh well. It is what it is. Um... So yes, I have ordered the the Nintendo Switch. Um, I'll get it in a few days. I'll probably not actually spend time playing it until next week. But I'll I'll I'll, I'll unbox the Switch and I'll look at different accessories that I can get as well to show you guys. But I'll try and get some interesting games for you all um, to play over the next couple of months as well. Um, I should have got a Switch a long time ago, but I guess I've I've did the right thing waiting this year so that I can get the one with the the improved battery life. Um, how long have I been streaming now? Maybe call it quits of that. I've got some other things to do. 42 minutes? Yeah, that's not too bad. So, um, thanks for everyone that's been tuning in. I do appreciate it. Um, it's gone a little bit quiet, so I think that's a good time as any to tie things up. Um, so, yeah. I, I've got the Switch coming. Two days. And then I'm going to start looking at accessories and different things to buy. Cheers, Gary. Good to see you, mate. I need to catch up with you at one point. Um, in real. Not just in... The Matrix. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll need to do... Um, yeah, definitely, Gary. So, um, I'll catch up with you guys later on. If I've got time later on, I can maybe do a live stream, but I, I can't guarantee it. I don't know what my plans are tonight. Um, but thanks for watching. Any, anyway, guys, uh, best of luck to Sad Boy and Ronnie with their YouTube channels. Thanks for commenting, Paul, and who have I missed out here? Ben as well. Ben and Paul were commenting a lot as well. So appreciate all the love, guys. Appreciate all the comments, all the support. Um, if there's anything you want to, want me to cover about the Nintendo Switch in the future, be it an accessory or a game or something, let me know. Can't accommodate everything, but I'll do my best. And I am on the lookout for good games and good accessories and things like that. So if I find anything that does look good, um, I'll probably pick it up and try and do a video or a stream or something about it. But thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Um, if I don't talk to you directly in a live stream, have a, a fantastic weekend. If I can talk. Uh, have a fantastic weekend. I'm actually going to do a, another video. I'm going to record another video upstairs. Uh, have a great weekend, though. And I'll speak to you guys very, very soon. Okay. Take care, guys. Peace out.